independent news sites and blogs across Russia. The Electronic Frontier Foundation is reporting. RT, uh, Russian-run English-speaking media, has an article saying five referendums the West has not taken issue with. Yeah, they're saying this is an illegal referendum with the area bordering Russia there uh, in Ukraine, the Crimea. But the truth is it's been part of Russia for hundreds of years. And again, if they want to vote 90 plus percent to join Russia, couldn't you say that that's their right to do it? Should we start a war? The West backed the Kosovo takeover and referendum, handing that over to uh, the Albanian Muslims. They support a South Sudan breakaway. They support Scotland's referendum from the UK. They support Catalonia in Spain. They support other referendums to secede, but not for Crimea to do so. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. 
coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. Rallying patriots worldwide. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. I'm going to be breaking down the attack on internet freedom coming up in the next segment. It's massive. Here's the Washington Post headline. U.S. to relinquish remaining control over the internet. And the article goes on to say they don't know who's going to be given control of it. That's not actually true. It's very public who's going to be given control over it. And so we're going to be breaking that down and giving you the rest of the story. Then I'm going to open the phones up for the balance of the transmission to get your take on that issue. But more importantly, the Ukraine situation. Again, everybody thinks of it. Coke, Pepsi, Ford, Chevy. Somebody's good. Somebody's bad. Pick a side. The Russians are not angels. Vladimir Putin is not an angel. He's an authoritarian. But Russia has been reforming in free market areas and is becoming more free economically, according to major university studies, than the United States in many respects. They're going the opposite direction compared to the United States when it comes to economic and other reforms. The United States is becoming authoritarian. Pull up university studies, find U.S. You know, less free in the press than other nations. U.S. less free uh, in I mean, so many examples as our index of freedom goes down. Economic freedom, mobility freedom, uh, freedom of the press. The United States is becoming less and less free. Going after the whistleblowers. The examples are legion. So when we say the Ukraine situation is a very nasty operation by NATO, by the EU and by the globalists that run our country. It's not an endorsement of Vladimir Putin or the Russians. But Crimea is on their border. It's been part of Russia off and on for hundreds of years. Uh, it's They just had a referendum, exit polls, 93%, Bloomberg reports, uh, are voting to join Russia. And why is that? Because they're scared. Three weeks ago, uh, NATO EU-backed groups overthrew the elected government there in Kiev, right in the middle of the country, and are now very anti-Russian and anti-Slav that make up about 60% of the country Slavic, one way or the other. And, you know, a good 20% or so are Russian. And they're mainly in the East, places like Ukraine, where it's 75% Russian. But, but even though it's 75% Russian, 93% have voted to join Russia because they think that's better than being under the EU, who they've seen suck dry all these different countries and sign them on to EU debts. I mean, joining the EU is like joining to uh, be given brain cancer. So the issue is NATO and the West have started this fight. And they are trying to overthrow the entire region, not just uh, Ukraine, and push their forces and missiles and weapon systems up to the Russian border via NATO. And this is actually forcing Russia into a new Cold War stance. And they have massed 200,000 Russian troops on the Russian border with uh, Ukraine. They are pouring in, according to Reuters right now, with attack helicopters, tanks, armored vehicles, hundreds of thousands of troops, nuclear mobile missiles, uh, you name it. As NATO pours ships, F-16s, uh, and you name it, into the area. And I just read some of those headlines Earlier, as, as NATO brings in the RAF, uh, the German uh, aircraft, uh, the British aircraft, I mean, this is a major, major, major buildup of troops on both sides. It's how World War I and World War II started very, very similarly. And most historians and academics are freaking out right now. Now, I know Justin Timberlake or Justin Biebler or Jay-Z or Cayenne Pepper West or whatever, 50 Cent. I know all that's real important right now for everybody, but or or even how you know wonderful Obama is, and and, and he's going to give us some free health care, even though it doubles and triples your prices. But for anybody out there who doesn't understand how serious this is, this is this has got me more concerned than I've ever been in my life, because it shows the recklessness of the globalist. It shows the craziness. 
And I look at John Corzine, who headed up Goldman Sachs, that basically is one of the most powerful investment banks in the world that sets most of the NATO policy and U.S. policy. Gives more money than any other group. They're supporting this. And John Corzine, the governor of New Jersey, former governor for Chris Christie, you know, just a few years ago, he did the MF Global thing where he took millions of dollars of people's private bank accounts and never got in trouble because he made 40 to 1 bets with their bank accounts, their brokerage gold accounts. And you go, what does that have to do with, with NATO and, and with Ukraine? It, it, it shows the craziness of the people running things. It shows that they've lost touch with reality. The Federal Reserve, the private Federal Reserve has created a th over... 1.5 quadrillion in fake derivative crap. And they've signed the entire Western world over to it. And now they're expanding a planetary corporate world government with carbon taxes. They fund anti-family initiatives. They fund Common Core, 2 plus 2 equals 5. They fund anti-gun initiatives. The World Bank is just the international arm of the Federal Reserve. It basically financed South by Southwest and had dozens of anti-gun events at it and anti-free speech events sponsored at it. I mean, these are flaming authoritarians who now have the U.S., the EU, NATO on a collision course with George Soros, of course, involved as usual, the former Nazi collaborator. George Soros helping finance the overthrow of Ukraine to then roll weapons up against the Russians. You've got the chairman of the Joint Chiefs on Friday, Dempsey, General Dempsey, saying they're prepared for military action under orders. They're ready to take on Russia. Kerry says on Friday, back out of uh, Crimea or there will be military and or sanctions increased on Monday. That's your deadline. Soros says Ukraine needs to be taken over by the EU, period. That's CNN. I mean, this is the Ukraine being taken over by the EU, a la the Nazis, World War II, and then the Russians, a la Stalin, World War II, taking the other half of Ukraine. Which is basically what happened later, but, but, but Poland's the great example of this. Poland was divided by the Nazis, who were the EU this time. And then you've got the Russians coming into Poland and taking the other half, when the Russians and the Nazis were actually on the same side early on in World War I before Hitler double-crossed them with Operation Barbarossa. So this is all being repeated again. And the Russians, by the way, have not blinked. The Russians are putting hundreds of thousands of troops into Crimea right now and are not going to back off on the deadline. Just like in 2008 in South Ossetia and Abkhazia, both areas in northern Georgia that were Russian-held, the Georgians, backed by NATO, attacked Russian military bases, killing everyone at the bases. Basically, troop police bases with a few hundred troops on each base. They sent an overwhelming force with tanks and artillery and killed them in their barracks at point-blank range. So the Russians then poured in with hundreds of thousands of troops and mobile medium-range nuke launchers and said, we've targeted Europe back off, their chairman of the Joint Chiefs said in a press conference, or we will fire weapons in the next hour. NATO backed off. This was on Russian TV, folks. We're preparing to nuke NATO bases in Europe if you don't back off. And the NATO backed off. This is the type of stuff we're talking about. Why did NATO do that? Why are they probing Russia? Why are they starting this? Why are they doing this? And then people say, well, what are you for Putin? No, but the West overthrew the Ukrainian government and is trying to absorb Ukraine right now. And I get the Ukrainians got persecuted by the Russians before World War II. I know all about the Ukrainian starvation. I've been against it. I'm against communists. But this is not what's happening now. This could start World War III. We'll break down the rest of it straight ahead. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend. You will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All 